All right. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, glad to be glad to be here. Hope you all had a nice coffee, chai, whatever else was there. I didn't see that. Um, so thanks for thanks for joining and great to be here at India Force. Um, GitHub for India, you know. By the way, GitHub is, and it would be very funny if I started with that. I'm guessing how many of you are using it. Wrong question. How many of you are not using it? Okay, great. That makes my job easy. Thank you, everyone. I'm I'm just kidding. You know, I'm, I I feel like you know like coming over and say GitHub. Nam to suna hoga, but I'm not gonna do that. Um, so, hello, everyone. I'm uh, I'm Karan, and uh, you know I lead international developer relations at uh, GitHub. And yes, I work at uh, GitHub itself, and I'm very passionate about developer relations communities, cloud DevOps, etc. And uh, really like to dive much into open source when I'm not working. Uh, you can also, you know, find me reading books, acting, anchoring, filmmaking, etc. Fun fact, you know, I'm back here on this stage after I first performed uh, 15 years ago, and uh, it's great to be back over here. So it's kind of very uh, emotional. Anyhow, um, so what I'm going to be talking about is not much about, you know, this is GitHub or this is what GitHub has. But I want to tell you a little bit more about you know what we're doing in India, and uh, you know give you a little bit more insight into the ecosystem of open source in India itself. Okay, but zooming back, literally, um, this is you know what GitHub is uh, across the world, right? So all of us know GitHub is where a lot of development happens, and 83 million developers call GitHub. You know their home for development, um, and there are more than four million organizations and 2.6 billion contributions to open source every year. Thousands of open source communities and more than 200 million plus repositories. Okay, let this just speak to us in terms of how much of a scale GitHub is being used for open source and by developers like all of you. All right. Now this is all great, you know. You might have you might have seen this, and surprisingly, not many people see this because you know where you can see this. If you go to GitHub.com/home, but most of the time, all of us are on GitHub.com and kind of working on the issues. But so probably you might not be aware of this. But nevertheless, how is it like in India? Has anyone seen this version of the OctoCat? Matthew? Okay. So we call this the Yogito Cat. Uh, and this is uh, made for uh, India. So um, back in back in uh, last year, uh, in March 2021, we had our you know first ever or second ever large uh, conference called uh, GitHub Satellite. And during that time, we shared some very interesting numbers about the scale of open source ecosystem in India itself. Okay, and it was this one. So during that period, during March 2020 to March 2021, that one year, 1.8 million new developers, you know, joined GitHub and were contributing. All right, and there were 7.3 million new repositories that were created. This is let's sink in. All right, in terms of open source as being used, and it was just you know a million developers during that one year created the first ever uh, repository. So contributions to open source were increasing, 80% increase in contributors, and you know a lot of lot of great activity and ecosystem happening. Now I want to share a little bit glimpse about what's what does this look like right now, okay? And what does this look like, not like right now, but of recent? Eight million number of developers on GitHub in India. Eight million, okay? Now this might seem just like a number for you, but I was looking up to see, you know, how do you give a context for what this number really looks like? Eight million developers just on GitHub in India. Fun fact, it's close to the entire population of New York. That's how many developers are there out here in India, which is actually really makes sense looking at, uh, you know, all of you attendees coming on a weekend for an in-person conference here at India Post after a long while, right? And uh, in fact, we predict by next year, there's gonna be 10 million developers, okay? Now, I mean, just, just, a, just a very curious to know, uh, 
How many people do you think are in Bangalore? What's the population of Bangalore? Bangalore. You, wanna, you wanna give it a guess? 20. Sorry? 20. Million? Yeah. Okay. Sorry? Five million. Huh? I can see a few people pulling up the phone. Like how many, how many, how many, how many? Well, last I saw it was around 13 million. Two million, you can find it right on this road itself. Um, and of course, you know, there's, there's a lot more. So by next year, there'll be 10 million developers in India on uh, GitHub. Uh, but an interesting fact, and this is very much closer to me, is that last year, and I'm talking as of now, last year, there were 200 million contributions to open source from India. Okay? So you might be looking around someone who might have done probably hundreds, thousands, one or two, or whatever is the number which contributes to 200 million contributions from India. And you know, while I was, while I was chatting with uh, many of them across uh, the conference just before this, they were like, uh, well, you know, probably typo, read me, you know, documentation, whatever, contributions. Yes, that is still a contribution, but a very interesting fact is that contributions are happening not just in terms of pull requests, but also creators are creating so many different packages, they're creating so many different plugins, modules, etc. And, you know, I was, I was curious to know sometime earlier this year, and, uh, you know, I was looking at, okay, you know, what is... What does this really look like? And then I saw 10 million software projects from around the world, okay, depend on packages that were created in India, all right? So you can think about how much of the packages, which includes, you know, your NPM packages or your Docker registries or, I mean, images or whatever else that, you know, is being created, more than 10 million software projects uh, are using packages that were created in India. All right, and this is really what we are talking about: uh, the open source ecosystem in India. Thank you. I'm just kidding. Uh, claps, please, for all of you. Seriously, right? because this number is very, very impressive. Last year, there was something, another interesting thing that we did. We gave away almost one crore rupees in open source grants to 15 recipients. Uh, in India, that was decided by a jury of experts uh, consisting of people from the government, from the academia, from the industry, from the startup world, from the community, etc. And you know, we decided to support all of these amazing developers, contributors, maintainers who are doing so much. In fact, we received applications from 81 cities and 19 states across India, wanting for uh, you know a a grant. Right? And in fact, we took this a little bit step further, and in case many of you are not aware, recently, just you know, a few months ago, we brought our main flagship product to help open source contributors get up sponsors to India. So all of the developers who are eligible for GitHub sponsors can start actually receiving funds and be sponsored by anyone on GitHub and across the world. So this is, you know, something that has been most requested by all of, you know, you contributors, maintainers, etc., and something that we did. So just, just last month, you know, are we in July? Yes, we are in July. So just last month in June, there was one other thing where we took this a step further, okay, and did something more globally, not just for India, something more globally to support the open source ecosystem across the world. So, of course, GitHub also depends on a lot of different open source projects for building the GitHub platform itself. And to really recognize, you know, all of these contributors and maintainers, we gave away half a million dollars to 900 maintainers across the world, including from India. So half a million dollars were given away to 900 maintainers uh, of projects that GitHub itself, you know, really dependent on. So what I encourage you to do is really to look at what are the projects that you depend on and also to contribute so that more open source can grow. Which is what I'm going to be talking about for the next one minute, how you can really help grow this open source ecosystem. Now I've spoken about 
um, you know, the extent of the open source ecosystem itself, uh, but just how you can really help with all of these things. And starting off with the most simple thing that everyone's been talking about, which is a good thing, is start contributing, all right? So contribute to open source, and you know, you might be like, oh, contribute, 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 but it could be something really small that makes a difference, because 200 million contributions just in the one year, and I can only imagine for 2023 to come, and then I can finally share with everyone, probably, in terms of what was the contributions that you know happened this year or so, all right? And the second thing is also I mentioned to you just now, you can also contribute to open source by supporting all of the maintainers uh, of projects that that you depend on. You know, if you just go to github.com slash sponsor slash explore, it's gonna show all the projects that you are depending on and help you easily contribute to all of those developers as well. And the last thing is if you are not able to do anything, then you know you might also probably want to recognize other projects um, that are that are really made in India and are helping create a global uh, impact. So uh, there is a collection on GitHub. So if you go to github.com slash collections made in India, you can see you know all of the projects that are getting significant contributions or are, are created in India. You can go suggest an edit by clicking <coughs> the button, raising a PR, and also making a contribution uh, through that way. Last but not the least is, I'm not sure if you're aware, but we have a program called GitHub Stars, stars.github.com, which is essentially a very, 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 very exclusive club, um, you know, of some of the top open source contributors, creators, maintainers. There are a lot of people, you know, who you might look up to, like the creators of various different languages and, you know, various different uh, frameworks <coughs> that you might have used who are a part of this. Uh, so if you're interested, uh, you know, you can also apply or nominate someone uh, who you think probably should be uh, a part of this. So that's all, you know, that I had. Um, for the next, uh, you know, few minutes, you can think about probably a nice tagline for uh, this Yogito cat. For me, I personally <coughs> like to say, keep calm and code on. So uh, thank you everyone. And uh, if you have any questions about anything related to GitHub, Probably for a minute or two, I can take them off. Do we have time for a minute or two? If there's any. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, at the last year, GitHub uh, has depreciated the password loading. And sorry, uh, I didn't get you. GitHub is uh, depreciated the password loading for the GitHub. Right. So we are using uh, now the personal access token for uh, pushing uh, pushing to Jitter. But uh, once I noticed that it is uh, never considering the username. Uh -huh. uh, if we uh, made uh, uh, type anything on the username and we have put the uh, correct uh, personal access token, it is getting uh, granted the permission. Mm -hmm. So uh, what is uh, what is the logic behind that? I didn't get it. Okay, so I'll, I'll explain this to you a little bit briefly offline as well, but largely, you know, personal access tokens, you know, are like, are like secrets, you know, that's associated with, uh, with your account, right? So, uh, you know, what, what's the logic is, it's, it's basically a secret access token that's, you know, used in any other way, how you would use for a, uh, for an API token, uh, it's basically more like a bearer token, right? Uh, whoever bears that token will have that access, which is why, the best security practice is, you know, don't commit it anywhere in Git. Don't, uh, you know, add it as a part of version control or scripting, etc. Uh, but I can explain to you a little more detail about that uh, you know, off, off stage. Yeah. Anything else? Oh, I'm surprised. Yeah, go ahead, please. So, uh, the lady GitHub grant in Jesse Adler, like last year, it was around June time. Right, so that's that's something that we are, you know, uh, considering and evaluating because there are, you know, a, a lot of amazing folks in uh, the open source ecosystem who are providing grants, including POS United uh, as well, who have a grants program, and there are other people. So uh, we are considering, uh, you know, making probably a larger impact this time, uh, but it's not yet finalized or announced yet. Yeah. Hi, uh, so I've got a question about colleges specifically and. Uh, I'm a college student right now, 
And the thing is, uh, as part of the student communities we run, we focus on trying to inculcate good git hygiene uh, in students, uh, basically so that we you know we put our projects up on GitHub. Uh, it's visible. It's a, it's a small resume kind of for people to show up. So uh, give, keeping that in mind, do uh, you folks have any initiatives specifically to reach out to colleges to you know kind of help fast track this? Because we'd be really interested if you folks would be willing to some, support something like that. Glad that you asked that. So we have an entire program specifically for something like that. Uh, it's called as the GitHub Campus Program, right. uh, wherein we, you know, we work with a whole lot of different uh, organized organizations as well as universities uh, and uh, schools, colleges, etc. across the world, and then not just in India, and uh, help the teachers, the administration, the management, the students as well on making them successful on GitHub, uh, you know, with open source. As a part of all of this, there is also various other programs that are available for the GitHub Campus Program. There's specific training around Git, GitHub, uh, open source, etc. There are also programs for internships called as GitHub externships, um, and there is also you know other student community pack that is provided and everything <coughs> else. But generally, outside of all of this, what I would recommend is that uh, you know for for a student or for anyone, right? Open source and giving back doesn't really matter as long as you know you are a developer who are interested and can be a good what I like to call as an open source citizen, you know, um, and uh, be able to give back in a meaningful way. So definitely, uh, you know, do do check out the GitHub uh, campus program. But the thing to keep in mind is that being a good open source citizen is what matters. And you know, um, are you are you a 15 year old or are you a 70, 80 year old or are you living somewhere in the Himalayas where there are people who are actually present? A developer, I mean. Yeah. I have a tiny follow-up. Yeah. So uh, the other thing is, uh, most students usually get started off with GitHub. They don't really know what Git is. Yeah. So they end up. Uh, so th the approach I had, I was forced to resort to, is I had to explain how Git was using Maggie to uh, make sure that you know people understood the basics of Git before they started using GitHub. So I taught both at the same time. Uh, but people usually, you know, uh, don't get to experience the, the you know, a debate of those things, but the really nice tool that is Git to uh, you know, manage their code. So do you folks plan to you know, get some Git knowledge onboarded as well? Yes. Uh, so in fact, you know, uh, as, a, as a part of uh, some part of the product experience itself, right? a lot of people who are new to Git, there are um, walkthrough guides. For example, if you go to skills, uh, GitHub skills, uh, I think it's skills or GitHub.com or GitHub.com GitHub skills, one of them. Uh, you can actually kind of experience all of this in a more, uh, you know, easier way of what is Git, where uh, there is more uh, explanation around. This is how branches work. This is how uh, you know Git commit works. This is how you know uh, uh, probably not things like rebase and all, but just the basics of what are pull requests and uh, you know everything else. So that's definitely a part um, of GitHub skills, a part of the GitHub product experience itself. And you know, uh, we do, to some extent, events also tackling about a lot of specifics around, uh, around basically Git. So in fact, uh, in the US, we are doing uh, you know, one conference called Git Merge, uh, which is very specifically only around Git. Thank you. All right, so thank you, thank you so much, uh, you know, everyone. And uh, like how I said, you know, this talk was not about this is Git uh, or this is GitHub. It was more about you know what uh, you know what we are doing uh, and how you can help uh, support the open source ecosystem uh, in India. Thank you so much, and I'll sign off with what I started off with GitHub. Naam to suna hoga na. Thank you everyone.